I'm assuming you've been to Brewerfield before. I have, yeah. yeah but how's it feel? The joint spending with town after obviously just recently leaving here to how's it feel to be with the club? Oh, delighted. It's a great club, great fans. Just seeing the pitch out there, it looks unbelievable. So delighted to get it over the line. Really happy. And have you played here before? Have you played against Spenny? I've played Spenny three times, but it's all been at uh, the International Stadium. Never played here uh, due to injury, but I've been here um, to watch the games and the atmosphere is brilliant. Like I said, the fans, the fans are mint, so. And you've, you spoke about injury there. Am I right? I think you had a long-term injury did, yeah. last season. I seem to remember the, in the Gateshead dressing room had the shirt. Yeah, things. yeah. What, is, what was that injury and kind of what was your rehab like and where are you now? It would, it, it was, I thought it was going to be good. I broke my foot and then came back and it probably a bit too soon and I ended up breaking it again. So that um, made it slightly long, so I out for about seven months. Um, but obviously a nice gesture for them to do it after the game and that. But um, stay injury free this season, come in and get where we need to get to. And when were you first aware of, of interest from, from kind of John Owen Bernard and, and how, what were their discussions like and how long did it take to decide that this is your next destination? Well, it was the end of the season just gone. Um, I know there were a bit of interest. And after speaking to Jason, Bernard and John o, it were a no-brainer really. They had a lot of, a lot of good things to say. Um, so yeah, like I say, it were a no-brainer. Great conversations with all three of them. And you're still very young lad, you're 21. Um, yeah. Turned 21 in March, I think. Yeah. Um, you've had experiences at the youth at Manchester United, yeah. at Barnes as well, so can you just talk through the, kind of the early stages of your career? Like I say, you don't get a much better football and education uh, when you're at United as a young lad, play with some great players, and then moving on to Barnes, a bit more local to me. Um, with a few lads that have made it into the first team as well, so great facilities, etc. Um, and that's obviously where I'm hoping to be, whenever that may be. Um, but yeah, two two great clubs. I enjoyed both experiences. And for those who kind of haven't watched yet, obviously we haven't seen you here at the Brewfield, as, yeah. as you've said. What kind of midfielder are you? How what would you kind of class yourself as? Just like to get on the ball, dictate play, and just make things happen. Really, I bring a lot of energy cover a lot of distance, um, so I'm all over the place. But yeah, I like to get on it and dictate play. And do you know any of the lads in the squad at the minute or will it be kind of new faces when you arrive? I've had brief conversations with quite a lot of them after obviously living in Newcastle for three years and there's a lot of connections, um, but nothing where I'd say I know them, so I'm looking forward to getting to know the lads. Um, played with Jordan Preston at Gateshead, um, so I know him quite well, um, but I'm looking forward to getting to know the lads and getting on the pitch with them. And, and last one, Obviously, pre-season, some managers kind of send your shiver down. Some players' spines because they've got to come back. But how much are you looking forward now to get your kind of your teeth stuck into a new pre-season with a new team? Nah, raring to go. Can't wait. Like I said, it's a new challenge, a fresh start, and I'm really looking forward to it. Can't say I've ever said that about a pre-season before, but now nah, I'm really looking forward to getting started and smashing this season as a team.